here we are back on 10 dates in terms of what happened the last time i don't remember but there is definitely one thing that i do remember when i collectively finished both of their dates i already knew who to ask for the third date and if you watched the last episode then you'd probably be surprised that i picked this option and i'm gonna pick kathleen let me explain we know a lot about tony even more enough to start digging into her past to get to know her because it seems like her dad is very very controlling considering the fact that she's even nearing 30. but with kathleen we don't really know anything about her we just know that she's a scholar and that's it on the the second date she just asked us the questions and we couldn't get anything in so for the most part we really don't know who we're dealing with here and that's what's interesting to me and that's exactly why i picked kathleen the one. Push the one. Don't let me do it the one. ready no wait go uh hello kathleen um it Bro. is ryan here speaking um how are you doing uh, i'm fine um I was wondering if you were free at all this week, um, and if you wanted to maybe meet up and maybe get dinner, you know, take a break from the library. Yeah. Educational yeah. res. Okay, um, yes, that sounds great. Um, I will get back in touch, and I'll send you on some details or something. Okay, um, bye. Let's go, easy. Amazing. That's a relief. Amazing. God. You did sound like you were selling a mortgage. <laughs> she said yes, I'll though. send you on some details. I didn't know what to say. What do you say? Kathleen, always the quiet ones. I wonder what this could mean. That could imply a lot of things, man. Evening, evening. <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay, evening, okay, okay. Yourself. Lovely little spot you found here, right at the bar. Yes, this is where all the action is. Oh, would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Nibbles? Oh, always. Yeah. What would you like? White wine, please. Okay, sophisticated. Thank Love. you very much, sir. Ooh, chili on tortilla chips. Oh, the Brits do some interesting things, don't they? Hey, you're the what? Don't get me started. <laughs> is this romantic or is this silly? I don't know. Here, have a tortilla chip. There mm. you go. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. This is my uh, first proper dinner oh. date since my last relationship. Was it a She's been in a relationship. I was right. By me. He wanted me to do all the domestic duties. And you didn't want to be a housewife. No. Playing devil's advocate, though, I was a student and he was earning all of the household income. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure there was a compromise you could have found. We never did. He wanted me to quit my studies and the rest is history. Damn. So you did you and you stuck to what he wanted to do. I respect that. That, that takes guts. Is there an income setup that you would prefer? Uh, huh? Well, living in London is pretty hard on either these days. I know. What even is a living wage in this city? <laughs> the obvious answer is dual income, you know? London is no joke, bro. Dual sounds like the most optimal way. If you're both earning an income, then, you know, you should both use it for yourselves if you live together and whatnot. I would say a dual income. Probably. I mean, it's not really like back in the day where one person's income would be enough to sustain an entire bars, household. Bars, I think bars. Financial security is really important in a long term relationship. More than emotions? Yeah, but emotions thrive in a stable environment. Ooh, your right is spitting! That's really hard for me to hear. It'll be two or three more years before I earn a proper income. That's all right. <laughs> it's, it's way too early to be even having these conversations anyway. I know, but, um,. Still good to know. No. Wait, was that the wrong answer? So, um, thank you for coming today. That's a really great spot. Mm. It's public but private. People open up more in intimate settings. Do they? Okay, well, tell me something new then. Ooh. Um, I've got a scar under my hair. Oh, how did Ooh. that happen? Actually, there's, um... There's something else I should tell you. No, no, I want to know about the scar. I'm in the middle of divorce proceedings. Oh my! I knew it. 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 I told you. 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 Remember last episode when I was like, oh, she was probably getting married. Or I don't know, something along the lines of that. I told you, bro. I knew it. I knew it. 
that profile told me all I needed to know. I knew it. When you thought I did not know. When you thought I had a singular brain cell going through this playthrough. You were yet again surprised. Because I knew that she was married or like getting into a marriage. Let me cook, brother. Let me cook. Uncharted territory for me. You're the first person I've got this far with since my marriage ended. Damn. We've been separated for two years. My education was the big problem. I couldn't contribute financially, and I wasn't willing to have a child before I graduated. He couldn't wait. I, I totally understand if that's an issue. I'm so sorry again. Dang. Like I said, dual income. I don't know why we're wasting our time here. No, I'm kidding. Obviously, we're going to go no. It doesn't bother me one iota. Past is the past. Thank you, Ryan. I want your academic opinion oh, on something. Oh, we move very quickly for oh, that. Oh, golly. Are we compatible? Ooh, right? What beyond this? Well, we wouldn't have made it this far if we weren't at least a little bit compatible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there is still one area that uh, we don't have much data on. <clears throat> and what is that? Sexual compatibility. It can be developed over time, <laughs> but uh, normally it's better if it's there from the start. Okay, I get you. I get you. Aside from, you know, the, the, the obvious way, um, is there a way for us to estimate what that can be? Bro, she wants Ryan so bad. What kind of lover are you? Ooh. I mean, in a nutshell, I don't need the playbook. Okay. Uh, Okay, remember the intro where it said, it's always the quiet ones. I'm leaning towards adventures. Why could I just have both of these? This, that makes sense. Like, I don't know, the way she was looking at Ryan the other moment, it, it, it's hinting to adventurous, I can't lie. But at the same time, I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't have enough data, you feel me, to be able to deduce which one of these could be the right answer. What's a good time without romance? I am a romantic. Yeah, candles. Maybe some slow jazz music. Okay. Some rose oh, we're going in. I, I didn't think it was Sash. this dish. Slow and steady. Mm. Very yes, special. let's go. Yeah. I, I prefer it to be an emotional as well as a physical experience. Mm, for sure. Mm. Personally, though, I... No way. I like things a little kinkier. Damn it, I knew it. Don't act so surprised. I'm not... <laughs> no, I, I am it. Um, no. Kinky. I still need to gather some data before my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. okay. If you had to pick, do you prefer to give or receive? I mean, you stressed the had because you knew I would have said both. Oh, you are very smart. Has anyone ever told you that? Yes, actually, yes. Jeez. Between give and receive. I don't know, giving is great. Focusing on giving. I am a giver. A what? Definitely. Your reasons being? Well, I mean, I actually enjoy it, for one thing. Um, it's also much better when both people are having fun, because otherwise uh, it, it kind of just feels a bit like servicing. That's a nice way to put it. Also, it is a little bit of an ego boost if you can make the other person feel good. If your technique is good. <laughs> Those are very valid reasons. You are an attentive lover indeed. <laughs> okay, what do you want to know next? That's all I really needed. Okay. That's it. Yo, voice is looking at Ryan. The verdict? <laughs> Contrary to what I said, sexual chemistry is actually best discovered firsthand. What are you implying, ma'am? Okay. That wasn't an invitation. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. But I appreciate you being so open and honest. Okay. Okay. Yo. Only a half pint. Very conservative. Yeah, I just don't want to get too smashed too early, you know? I do. Barkeep, can we get some more wine <laughs> for this one, then? Hey, yo, I'm very so, surprised. What are you doing tomorrow? Books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Hopefully, I'll be able to retain some information. <laughs> wine tends to give me brain fog. <laughs> Why are you trying to get smashed up? So I'm thinking I should ask where your head's at. Are we not still on the casual dating stage? Uh, we are. I just don't want either of us to waste our time. Ah, why not? That's fair. Yeah, no, I, I can appreciate that. Relationship easy. 
I really like you, Kathleen. Um, I feel like we have connected in loads of different ways. And I would like to see if it could progress beyond casual dating. Look at him, bro. If he was on the bed on a FaceTime with her, he'd kick his feet up in the air. Yeah, I, um, I do feel the same. Yo! Yes, let's go! Does that give me any more data for the compatibility test? <laughs> Sorry, I I think I'm gonna need a bigger sample size. Oh, I got bigger. Okay. <laughs> That's the first kiss I've ever seen. Ryan and Kathleen are now an item. His IQ has already increased by 25. I didn't think they would be kissing on the last date ever for any of these dates. I don't know, it just made sense to me. For all the other last dates that I had, I never had like a last kiss goodbye type thing. Hey, shout out Kathleen. That was a much better date than I expected. I can't lie to you, Chief. All right, what does Kathleen think of me? 100% confidence, 100% kindness, 100% humor. I'm finally funny, let's go. And 100% maturity. This has indeed boosted my ego. Three out of 80 scenes viewed, and we've done three out of the five challenges that we got. Honestly, this last date was amazing. I cannot lie to you. That was great. Now, obviously, we're done Ryan's second playthrough. So what else is there to expect? There's going to be one last stretch for 10 days, and that's basically us going as Misha and getting the other dates that I honestly do not want to go on. So we'll see that next stretch, and that will be the end of 10 days. This series that I've somehow extended over the period of two and maybe even three months. But anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it if you do want to, of course, not to check out my other videos or past streams or whatever the case may be, then please do subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated if you do want to, of course. Do comment what you'd like to see me do, any games or any suggestions really for the channel. Definitely up to hearing that. And you know what it is, guys. Peace. <laughs>